So here's an invention that I've been extolling now for 25 years. Uh, so far to no, well, I shouldn't say no success. I've gotten attention for it. But I, I think, you know, it won't happen in my lifetime, but we'll do the, uh, we'll, we'll do the Unidad de Fomento eventually. It's coming. So let me tell you the invention. In 1967, Chile was going through a hyperinflation. I mean, prices were just going up. I don't know what it was, a thousand percent a year or something like that. And people were distressed by it. When you got your paycheck, you know what you did? You got your paycheck. Of course you cash it immediately. And you run to the store and you spend the whole thing. Because by the end of the month, it won't be worth anything. So this is crazy. Uh, and uh, so now the, the, the idea that Chile invented then was to create a new unit of account and uh, in Spanish, unidad de fomento, which means unit of development. I don't know why they called it that, but uh, I, I can think of a better name, but uh, that's what they called it in 1967. And what it is, it, now money has f several functions. It's a store of value uh, and a unit of account you can s and a means of transactions. You can separate out those uh, functions. You can have a separate unit of account that is not money. So they invented something called the UF, uh, Unidad de Fomento, and they allowed its value to be tied to the consumer price index. Back then, they would publish in Chilean newspapers every day the exchange rate between the uh, 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 escudo, which was the currency they had then, and the Peso, which is the I'm sorry, and the U.S. I'm sorry, and the sorry, and the U.F. So uh, 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 I looked it up today. On the, now it's a website. It used to be in the newspaper. Well, maybe it's still in the newspaper, but there's a website, valoruf.cl. I looked it up this morning, and one U.F. is twenty-five thousand six hundred and fifty-five point five five pesos. Uh, now you might wonder why did they pick such a big number. They didn't. They picked some small, maybe it was one to one, in, I don't know exactly, in 1967. But they've had so much inflation uh, in their peso that it's up to 25,000 pesos per one UF. And that is worth, at the current exchange rate between peso and dollar, $35.92. So uh, uh, there's been a huge increase in, even though Chile has gotten its inflation more under control. <laughs> The price level has still increased 50-fold, over 50-fold since 1977. So, um, but you know, it's not, the U.S. is not the haven of price stability either. Would you believe it? Prices in the U.S. have gone up 24-fold since 1913. That's not exactly a zero inflation environment. And if you're saving for your retirement, for example, your grandmother buys you a saving bond that matures in 2050. Uh, you should be worried, right? What is that going to be worth? So it, Chile had the escudo currency, and between 1960 and 1975, it, they had so much inflation that they, uh, they had to replace it uh, with a, one escudo to 1,000 pesos. But then the, the, the peso then eroded away, and they had to define a new peso, which was 1,000 old pesos. So we have something like a 50 million fold increase in prices in uh, Chile. So why would anybody still quote prices in pesos? Uh, I don't know. There's something about human psychology. But at least let's give credit. The Chileans are the most advanced country in the world in terms of dealing with inflation. When I was in Chile, I, I was giving a talk at the central bank, and I said, Whose idea was this? This is amazing. The, the whole world should be following Chile. And then you know what? Nobody knew whose idea it was. <laughs> Nobody, they think it's a national embarrassment because it reveals how much inflation they've had. I said, no, you are the world's leader. Then the world is ought to copy you. Eventually they will.